Hey, are you a freight broker that's looking to use LinkedIn to get more shippers without making lots of cold calls? If you are, lean in, because I'm gonna share with you a huge mistake that I see both freight brokers and freight agents making when using LinkedIn. One of the best ways to generate inbound leads on LinkedIn is to post highly relevant content to your feed, your personal, and your business profiles. And this is where I see nine out of 10 freight brokers getting it all wrong. The reality is you can't just post any content to your LinkedIn feed and expect shippers to line up to do business with you. And this is where I see tons of freight brokers and freight agents making a huge mistake because they're posting content that isn't designed for their niche market. For example, I see freight brokers who maybe have a niche in the produce or the steel industry that are posting content related to freight broker sales or freight broker marketing or freight broker startup, but not relevant to their target market. It's relevant to them as a freight broker, but not to their niche. And while this type of content may get some engagement from other freight brokers or freight agents, maybe even some truck drivers or dispatchers, the fact is it's gonna be rare if ever any of your shippers in your target market are ever going to engage with that type of content. So the key to success is to post content that's highly relevant and contextual to your niche market. The fact is people in the produce industry or the steel industry or any freight niche for that matter care about things that are relevant to them, their industries, their job roles. I mean, the reality is, you know, most freight niches have their own lingo and even their own culture. So why would they care about content that's relevant to freight brokers or freight agents or entrepreneurs? The fact of the matter is they won't and they don't. The problem is when people post this type of content and then get some sort of engagement, it becomes addicting. So what happens is they get addicted to that feeling, that dopamine rush, and so they start posting more content that, can, that is relevant to that same group of people that are engaging with them, but unfortunately, it's typically not their freight niche. If you learn anything from this short video, it's do not get caught up in vanity metrics like views and likes and shares and comments. The reality is very, very rarely will a piece of LinkedIn content go viral, especially if it's designed well specifically for your niche. Most content that goes viral on social media is very generic like motivational or inspirational quotes or videos or images. The bottom line is this, if you wanna use LinkedIn content to find, connect, and engage with shippers in your niche, you need to post highly relevant content that is specifically designed and relevant to the buyers within your target market. So here are three simple tips to help you see more success on LinkedIn. Number one, you need to stop focusing on vanity metrics like views, likes, comments, and shares. Number two, you need to focus on creating and sharing content that's highly relevant to your niche market. So do your research, look on blogs, trade journals, use hashtags to come up with content ideas that are highly relevant to your niche market. Number three, avoid sounding salesy in any sort of engagements, including content that you post on LinkedIn. The fact is LinkedIn and social media, social selling is not speed dating. You need to slow it down. And if you do, you'll find more success. So if you're curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent and you need some help, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Trained over 10,000 students. I've personally done over $200 million as a freight broker. And once again, we offer a 60 day, 100% unconditional money back guarantee. Nobody else does that. You can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com.